an idea, first of all, position is number one priority, right? We have to get the proper position. We want to improve our position and put our opponent in a compromising position. And you have to do that generally, especially any of you that do sword work in the middle of the we have people in here that do sword work. What's the first thing? Getting offline is pretty important, isn't it? Is it different empty-handed? It's the same, right? right? It's the same, so, you know, don't, if you've done it, you may do it when you do your boat bend, but then you also do it when it's empty hand. Well, my point being, say when we do this particular technique. So, a lot of you are moving well, but you're moving right here, and you're moving right into it. This guy will bring up that hand, and that's the last thing you'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> if ever. <laughs> Right? You set yourself up, you've turned, you've given it all the energy, and you're going to turn right into a left or right hand. That doesn't make sense, guys. You know, when you exercise the uh, ideal technique, they're strategically designed to be effective. Okay? So we have to get offline. That's the first thing that we do. And that's why I use the I Hami Katata 20 basically for teaching show men, because it simulates it from that position where they're held, but in essence it's the same thing. And that's how a beginner, if you learn to judge timing and get the feel for that, you'll be able to transition from the wrist to the strike. If you do, if you, you know, get those fundamentals, those key home techniques. So it's very important to have that. One of the key elements, first of all, is I have to change this equation. In other words, he's bigger, stronger, faster than I am. This is not going to work. Okay, look at that. <laughs> We're going to control him. Uh, but I need to change the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circumduct my arm around and I'm going to move diagonally out. Now, have I changed his body structure? Have I opened him up to all sorts of strange and things? <laughs> so this is why you have to do that. But in order to get here, you can't leave out the beginning getting offline. So, I, you know, you just use the geometry of the room. If we stand right here, in this position right here, I'm going to take him right towards the corner of the building here. So I'm going to start this here, and I'm going to slide out. Keep him. He's going to be right in front of me in case I have to now I'm here. Huh? So, you're out. And then you can engage him. Now, when he's out here, I can move behind my structure and break this structure and take him down. Yeah? But you have to set that up. You can't do it effectively without changing your position. Does that make sense? You have to get the position to do the technique. On the other side, here. I'm going to move here, and I'm going to take it right towards that corner. And I don't use the arm strength. I use the shoulders the hips to move. Here, bang, bang, anything you want to do. Here, I get my structure, and then I move behind it, I've broken his structure. Does that make sense? That's what you have to do. So on all those techniques, you have to have an opening movement to improve your position and to compromise their position. And if we don't, if we can't get the first space, we don't need to go home yet. You'll never get home. So let's take those things, break them down. Now, in addition to that, you want to take the arm out and not I wouldn't take him here and get into this because he could hit me here. I have to come up here where I can break the structure. Now I've got high ground. I've got position. Now what you always want is positional advantage. You want to be Kazushi, but they barely can see you. And here that you've got control. So let's work on that opening move this far. Opening move. I'm going to 